I am and how my voice is shaking right now. Because um, I even said, oh, I wish I'd just faint the moment I walk right up on the stage so I don't have to hold this speech. Um, <laughs> this is something I've been working towards since I started grade six. And I know I'm not the only one that's nervous today because we are graduating from grade nine and we are stepping out of our safety zone towards unknown territory <laughs> and we don't know what we are expecting because we've only heard. And there are a lot of people I like to thank, but before that, I hope that sincerely all of us, all 128 I think it was, will in the future be able to do something that we are passionate about and that we, as we grow older, will feel proud of every single moment that has passed us. And um, I am more of a writer type. So I made something, I wrote something really short because my mom told me, start your speech with a quote. And Google was not my friend yesterday. Um, so I decided to just make something of my own. And it's, as the days grow brighter, and so does our minds, the knowledge that we have gained will overlap and entwine with what we are about to experience and explore as we head out 128 strong. And our teachers have been here for us all of these past four years, and that's big. And they are very bright and uh, interesting personalities. And I know that they are proud of every single one of us. And we have all of our amazing parents here right now, and they're cheering, and they have been looking forward to this as well, because they are so proud of everything that we've done, and all our hard work is showing through right now. And I know that they are scoring us by points, but that doesn't show exactly how much effort all of us has put into reaching our goals and making sure that when we leave this building, we will have done the absolute best that we could have done. And that's big, that's really big. But um, I'd like to thank Mr. Brisson first, because I don't think I've ever heard a better speaker yet. And hopefully in a few years, maybe I can entertain him and entertain people they, the way that he has spoken to us these past years. Because he has, uh, most me, and I'm sure other people as well, pushed us to work harder every week and every time he has spoken to us because he has a way with words that makes you able to understand and enjoy and think that tomorrow I will step up my game and I will do, do even better. And once again, all our teachers, they have been endlessly supportive and they have made sure that we understand and we know what we have to do. And when we go out there, we will not be unsure because we will know because they have taught us everything that we need to know. And I am very grateful for that and I know that I am not the only one who is today. Um, and unlike most other students in schools, we will probably have more of a Canadian accent than a British one. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, but Canadians are supposed to be nice, so let's hope so. And <laughs> you're laughing, that's good. It, I, was, I was hoping that I could make someone laugh. Uh, I don't really have a lot more to say. I'm happy that I was able to go through with this without fainting. I'm still standing up. I hope we have a great summer, and um, I'm still shaking. Thank you very much for your time. And your time. We're not following the agenda now. I can see our master of sound. He's like trying to like to follow me. Uh, Mr. Nilsson, are you in the house?